Hello YouTube, Lenero Saw here. I wanted to show you guys real quick a little customization I've been doing with some GTRMs I have. Um, as you noticed, I removed the disc brakes on them, and to tell you the truth, this cars, the disc rims, they look absolutely bigger and awesomer. I don't know, um, they look even better, guys, without with the without the disc brakes on the rims you they just look really really awesome I uh, was customizing this the other day and also on um, on some trade I did with Trainboy414 he sent me some red rims so I customized the red rims and I these are skyline rims they were custom painted red and I painted the legs black even the inside of the leg not just the outside and they just look absolutely perfect guys check it out train boy tell me what you think and right now if you're looking at this car this car has the silver rear clip that comes with the 65 blue light blue mustang this is the race clip for the gen ones and i just put it right here on my rsx so that the the rear could be raised is really really great and the red rims and all the chassis let me show you real quick and there it is just the red rims and the legs they all look just freaking awesome dudes thanks a lot train boy these are some really sweet ass rims dude and the paint job was awesome <clears throat> those are some of the rims obviously all the right now the dip dish are in my 370z looking really really great also guys soon when i get the stuff i'm waiting for from kimchi the six and macdude 3585 I'll be posting a video of all of my X-Mods up for sale because I really really need the cash guys and because I'm fixing up my car and I really need some stuff some extra stuff and believe me everything will be up for sale even the skyline oh um wait let me see um X-Mod Hot Rod dude um here it is just to show you real quick this is what I was you know if you want just think about it this car is in really just it's not mint but it's in great condition it has partial body kit it doesn't have the stock size skirts <laughs> wait sorry man I almost sneezed there um, doesn't have the 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 stock size skirts or the wild front bumper that's the one that doesn't have the headlights or just the fog lights also um it's missing i think it's from a body kit it's supposed to have two spoilers it only i only have one so yeah that's pretty much it dude um that's all the oh and the exhaust tips i think they were missing i, I don't have those when i got them but other than that is in really great condition guys um that's that's it um also to show you guys real quick Wait, let me search something here. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you right now some of the cars that do have spacers in the rear. But basically, if, you have, if you're running an Evo chassis like this one and you don't have white axles, this is also the alternative. Wait, let me... This here will be the alternative to it, guys. Let me show you real quick. just check that out guys for the rear there's just this little spacer just one little silver spacer is just really nice and thin enough so that you can actually screw in anything else like uh, a stock um, lug nut or aluminum lug nut but those little spacers they come with uh, with these rims, they come with this um, Firebird rims. This is this really chrome spacers, 
that you can actually put inside or outside of the rim just so you can make the rim stick in or stick out right now for this car I'm right now using a normal gen 1 bushing just a yellow one is right underneath it so that it fills up and the wheel doesn't wobble and it screws in perfectly but for this one right now that these rims or some rims don't come with the feature that you can actually install spacers um, right now I'm only seeing two sets of rims that you can install spacers on any car you can actually use the the gen 1 bushings um, right now are the Mitsubishi Lancer rims and these other rims you can actually just use that you just put it in there and that's pretty much it for gen 1's guys for the generation 1's the rear axles somehow are a little bit longer the so you can actually just if you have aluminum lug nuts that's even better but you they are actually longer all you gotta do is just put like a little yeah, another extra yellow bushing on the rear and when you screw it in be careful not to try not to get it so tight so that the wheel will stop spinning because they will stop spinning if you get it too tight if you have aluminum lug nuts with the nylock grip on it that's even better guys for real for the gen ones you can actually for any gen one you can use you just put another spacer on top of it and you can get the the rim offset just sticking out of there a little bit just check it out I don't know if you can see it from over there but you can actually see the little yellow bushing just sticking out that's pretty much it but I, like I told you guys um or basically just really easy just get the white axles just just with the white axles it will looking it will be looking absolutely great right now the the Stang and the Skyline have the white axles this one's a gen 1 with spacers gen 1 with spacers they're not tight enough so that the wheel will keep spinning um this one has spacers because the rims do come like that and right now these are some customized dip dish rims I trimmed down a little bit on the inside so that the wheel can actually stick in once it got stick in it was actually like half of the axle sticking out of the rim so I just used the little spacers that come with the Lancer rims just to get it tight enough in there and when I put the lug nut it's just absolutely perfect guys so that's pretty much it um, also guys um, check this out just a real quick update on how I drop my drop some of my cars because you know I saw train boys video and I wanted to share with you guys also right now for my Mustang check it out it's saying the name upwards guys if you get a clip that is exactly the same level as you uh, as the part as you put the the screws just the top part is just the same level you just spin it and for this chassis you actually have to trim down the edge that's facing the the gearbox over there just trim it a little bit just shave it and it will fit absolutely perfect um my skyline also has the name upwards wait let me show you real quick just check it out just say says the name upwards really really great um basically I would suggest you do this for a Skyline and a Subra but if you're gonna do the flipping the clip on a Skyline you gotta use only the front stock bumper because the other bumpers are just too low and, you will, and they will touch the ground eventually um, for any generation 1 car if you're gonna flip the clip on a gen 1 you may have to customize the clip just like that with a huge hole right down the middle so that the shocks can actually fit inside and that's pretty much it maybe for a gen 1 this one's right now is a customized super front clip for my 370c and it's just also saying supposed to be saying the name upwards and it's just really really great um yeah i think that's pretty much it um Oh, um, Exma Hot Rod, dude, you was asking me about this. Let me show you real quick, just to you. Um, 
this one's a barricade front clip is not that much of a different from the stock but it will lower it just a little bit on the front but um, for any of you guys that are looking how to drop your cars basically what I do first just try the, the normal hole this is the normal hole to where the clip should be um, just try putting the clip on top of it um, just from here to top of it and just try to fit it in like that and you will eventually that's a one of the cheapest way I could find to drop my cars guys um basically I did that first for the 370 and it worked great I am doing it for this one that's for the last vid you saw it like really dropped I'm doing it right now the clip is on top of where it's supposed to be clipped on that's pretty much it guys um yeah, um, for my for any of you guys that have Honda Civics, um, the RSX front clip, and that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.